Hi, this is Alan DeWolf. I'm the CEO of Boss Tools. We manufacture a product known as a hoof boss. It's used to help trim an animal's hoof. It's available for most all of the animals that have a hoof. Uh, as you know, uh, the reason you trim is because if the animal is being housed, uh, being restrained from movement, then their hoof is not able to wear uh, like it would in nature. And so because of that, you have to provide that animal some assistance with doing that trimming. One thing about our tool, it's the only tool that's ever been designed specifically, a power tool, ever designed specifically to trim an animal's hoof. And with the hand tools that you have, which is you know, specifically, it's going to be a pair of hand shears. Um, that, that tool wasn't developed to trim with. Uh, it's a tool that you had to adapt to make it work. It's the only available, reliable, I mean, the viable type product you got out there until we came with our, uh, our, our power system. And so with this power tool, it gives you the ability to trim flat. And that's the bottom line. The bottom of that hoof wants to be flat. And that's hard to do with a pair of scissors or shears, if that's what we want to call them. One of the things that the, this power system, power trimming system, brings to the end user is their ability to increase the amount of time or increase the frequency of the trimming. It's a proven fact that most people are going to put off trimming as long as they possibly can because it is so difficult to do. That's human nature. But with the power tool, you now have, have the ability to not have to go through uh, the pain and the struggle and whatnot to do trimming. Now you, you, it's easier to do. Uh, the more you do, the faster it gets. And so what it allows you to do, it allows you to put those animals on a regular schedule. Uh, how long is that? Six weeks, seven weeks, eight weeks? It's as long as it needs to be to get that, when that animal gets to the right stage of having their hoof trim. When we look at the tool, we find that it's a combination of different elements to make this thing work. The length is, it, is the, way, the length it needs to be, the circumference for you, it's comfortable to hold in your hand. It's got uh, a lot of power, a lot of power in that little tool like that. Uh, it runs at 50,000 RP or 20,000 RPM. That's, we found is the sweet spot. That's where we want to be in, in the amount of speed and, and uh, torque that we pr produce with that tool. It's, uh, uh, but the most important thing, it only weighs a pound, and that's critical to try to cram all of that power into something that only weighs a pound makes it work. Then we take that tool and we married it to the proper disc to make those cuts uh, with the horse and the, the cow scenario, uh, which primarily it's going to be the four tooth C disc uh, for the goats and sheep probably the eight tube C disc. And that's a chainsaw uh, adapted type tool. Uh, we were able to take the elements of a chainsaw tooth, work with it, make some changes to it, add some tungsten carbide to it. But when you put it into a two inch diameter and you run it at 20,000 RPM, it changes the way it works. Yeah, you, you think it's a chainsaw blade, but it's different. It's not aggressive, it's not gonna grab, it's not gonna walk, it's not, it's, it's a very smooth uh, sensation when you use this tool. I think this tool has also helped older people, people my age, people 60, 70, 80 years old, have been doing this for a while. Uh, they've always had their animals, uh, they like taking care of the animals and they found that that this was one of the tasks, trimming was one of the tasks that they had to give up because it, uh, um, they had to give up because it, 
was so demanding on their bodies, their hands and things like that. But our tool has helped them. That tool has let them get back into the barnyard and they like that. They really do. Tool's not a problem for people uh, uh, with small hands. Uh, we have a lot of ladies that really love the tool. It allows them to do the things that they like to do in, in, in working with the animals. We manufacture this tool here in uh, Tallahassee, Florida. We have all the parts shipped in and uh, uh, from all over the world. Uh, we're buying these parts. Uh, and we have them shipped in here to Tallahassee, Florida, and we put this tool together one at a time. Again, Alan DeWolf is the CEO of Boss Tools. Um, you can go to our website, the, the mybosstools.com. We've got uh, quite a few uh, articles in there. We've got our videos. We have the Boss Tools School that goes into a lot of detail about the tool and the product and what it's doing. Um, we encourage you to go there and, and check it out.